a very popular UI element at the moment that I'm seeing in a lot of web apps is a, uh, a search box that pops up using a keyboard shortcut um, and lets you search through uh, any part of the app and quickly jump to different um, parts of it. Uh, this is sometimes called like a, an omni search box or an omni box. Um, but in this video, yeah, I'm going to demonstrate how to build one. Um, so I have uh, a contact app here uh, and uh, I am going to show you how to use a keyboard shortcut to open a, uh, a pop-up um, that has a search field in it. Uh, so let's begin by setting up a pop-up and uh, let's make it a column, just 800 wide for now. Um, and then in this pop-up, I'm going to put a search box. Uh, so, um, let's just restyle this a little bit, get rid of the background uh, and get rid of the border. I want it to look like the pop-up itself is the search box. Um, so let's just give it a little bit of padding all around. Um, and. Uh, Remove the conditions just so that uh, I'm in complete control of the styling. Um, percent. Oh, I've missed off uh, on the pop up. Oh, I've done it on margins. There we go. No, so, actually, I intend intended to put that in the uh, pop up padding. There we go. That's why my 100% wasn't working on the width. Uh, brilliant, much better. So my search box is sat in there um, and uh, now I'm going to tell it uh, what parts of my app to search. Um, so with the default um, bubble search box, you can basically search one data type and one field. Um, if you want to search uh, multiple data types and multiple fields, then uh, you'll need to look at like a fuzzy search plug in and uh, do it using a text box. We'll probably cover that in a future video. Um, but for now, uh, we go on to contacts and then the field to search is name. And uh, that all looks good. Um, so how do we trigger it with a shortcut? Uh, well, we can find a uh, plugin that will allow us to do that. So let's try this one here, keyboard shortcuts uh, and then I think this is one of the ones where we have to uh, drag an example of it onto the page uh, yep anywhere will do uh, in fact let's just put it in here that way it doesn't affect the styling uh, and then the keys uh, so I need to pick a, um, a key combination uh, which uh, is not going to conflict with anything in the browser or anything that I've got set up on my um, on my uh, own computer on my Mac, uh, so uh, let's just try uh, Command K. As I've seen that used on other applications, um, cool. Uh, so now, uh, how do we trigger that? Well, I think we go for uh, when a keyboard shortcut that one is triggered. We uh, show the pop up. And we can even set the focus uh, into the input of the uh, search box. Uh, oh, I've got a couple of search boxes on the page. Let me just check I've chosen the right one. Uh, no, so I'm just going to label that more clearly. Here we go. And let's hit preview. And there you go, Command K brings it up and I can type straight into it and go and select. And then of course, nothing happens. So I need to finally, what I'm gonna set up is navigate through to the profile page uh, or like the contact detail page. Um, so uh, to do that, I go for uh, when an input's value is changed and uh, that's the search. Uh, and then, uh, so with a search box, it's worth noting, if I go back, um, 
that in Bubble, a search box acts like an input field, but with added features. Um, so if I start typing in here, I can extract that text, which just says Tony, as a uh, just like an ordinary text string. Um, but as soon as I select one of my options, uh, because it searched my database and returned that result, that then changes the input of the search box. So that's how I can pick up this when statement here. Uh, and then I can navigate, go to page. Um, I think I've got profile page set up somewhere. Uh, let me just check my demo up here. Yeah, I've got profile and I think, yeah, very bad design, but it will do for now. Uh, no, <laughs> I've lost where, uh, There we go. It just got lost if all the with all the demo apps and demo um, demo pages rather that I'm working on uh, in these videos. So uh, I got to send them through to contact um, uh, profile. Here we go. And uh, then this search box is. So remember, I said when you select a database item in a search box, that becomes its value. The type text is just going to be text. Um, there we go. And let's check that. Hit my shortcut. Tony, select Tony. And there we go. Navigate through to Tony Stark's page. So like I said, there are a number of improvements that you can make here. You can start using a fuzzy search. Uh, you would then need to build in a repeating group um, uh, to take the place of the kind of the drop down list that the search box provides um, because with a fuzzy search you'd need to use an input field rather than a search box um, but once you get your head around that they do work it does work really well um, and uh, yeah you can build in that really popular UI feature whether you call it an omni search or an omni box or simply a, um, a pop-up triggered by a shortcut um, yeah there you have it